So we've got to think about who actually delivered today. I am really excited about this one. I look for it to be big and voluptuous and beautiful. You fill it with water till it explodes. <laughs> Brilliant! My engine uses burning not to push a piston, but to push a potato. Whoa! Oh. It was meant to be like a moment. Yeah. But was it a great moment? The train was heading at near full speed towards this track that was bent out of line. But with every signal on green, the train driver had absolutely no way of knowing that anything was wrong. You will be building models that will be dropped from the tower onto the target. And whoever's bricks we think create the most spectacular smash will be the winner. And your Christmas tree, Spencer. Yes, darling. That's how you do a Christmas tree. <laughs> This must have been so frustrating. They were on to this problem. They saw it. They were acting on it. The stuff they have produced is ridiculous. There was obviously a reason why they chose that location, that the sea obviously played an important role in this building. But building that close to the sea is always going to give you trouble. Digging under the tower turns out to have been a brilliant idea. It reduced the lean by about 10%, which although that doesn't sound a lot, it brought the tower back from the brink. I'm ready. I'm ready, I think. I think I'm ready. We can see that as the balloon splits, the hydrogen burns very quickly, a combustion reaction. That fresh liquid ion comes out of the blast furnace and is loaded into these torpedo ladles, which are then taken to the steel part of the factory on their very own rail track. So if it struck a few months later, they would have been fine. This is such bad luck. Wow. It's just like a, it's an iron on mountain. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I've got 18.25. So I've knocked off about half a second, which just for like a 25 meter pool, that's really good. And now I'm really tired. Three, two. Ooh. The skills of getting personality across and like just put them together. So it actually lowers the temperature at which glass can melt. Yeah. That's clever. You've got to try new solutions to old problems. It's these experiments that push forward the boundaries of engineering.